it just me or does this game stress you? <laughs> Step through that. Okay, we can kind of figure out everything that happened here. We don't have time to pick it. Stand back. They break in. They say, grab the papers. That's all they need. They enchant this door. I they did! They did enchant it. at all. Make sure you get the adverts. Time to figure this out. Okay, so this is number one. We don't Two. Have time to pick it. Stand back. Grab the papers. Smash the rest. Three. I Four. Burn it all. Make sure you get the adverts. Several men broke into the expedition headquarters. What they didn't smash, they burned. The archives, even the newspapers. Oh, I hate that thing was running like that. Stop. Okay, now was there anything? Oh, I see some things that are up here. H. Doe Anthropologist. All right. The Oakmont University Department of Anthropology welcomes the newest additions to its ranks profession, prof, Professor Harriet Doe. Her brilliant discoveries about the new origin of in-suit tribes have been added new page in history book of humanity. Now Professor Doe will embark on a new expedition to hopefully shed light on the source of the flood. In doing so, shed light on what may yet to be. Well, I kind of took my own spin with the words there, so I wouldn't stutter, but it worked. Fisherman reports. L. Sullivan and B. Morgan, local fishermen, report numerous large bubbles and an unbearable stench rising from the bottom of the sea. About a sample of weird substance floating in the ocean from J. Harvey. He claims he found it among the numerous dead and strangely deformed fish. The fish were taken for analysis. Several locals mentioned the rock noise from the seabed, making the fog shine in different colors. The witnesses felt sick and dizzy for two to three days after the incident. L.P. Stern got severe burns after chelsea off on the rock on his basement, sa basement samples taken for analysis. Is this some kind of alien skull? These samples glitter in a weird way. Oh, it's the stuff on the I rocks. Where they came from. Oh, that's what the sound was. I thought it was one of the monsters. It's just some fish in a tank. How to protect. According to our data, the places with the paranormal activity have strong previously unidentified influences on the human mind. We have prepared a list of solutions including meditative practices, and a lot of supply sedatives to prevent cases of madness among the expedition members. I highly recommend discarding all of those charms, amulets, and religious symbols which are of no use and applying these scientific valid methods of protection instead. H. Doe. Well, they're not very smart then. I kind of want to shoot that tank. Can't say I ever saw another shell like it. Okay, I think we have to go to the mine place now. The cargo from the expedition was taken to Grim's Haven Bay Pier. The expedition headquarters was vandalized by Innsmouthers. They burned all the expedition archive, even the newspapers. That's actually so far what we got. Okay, that works. Because they, they took all the stuff from... 
Thorg Martin's son and like his, that little expedition took it here and burned it all. I that that feels pretty solid to me. And then what's this next thing? The expedition headquarters was vandalized by the end's mouth. Okay, now we just need to find the next chapter in that. Looks like we're just gonna have to find more places to go. Snap a picture of that. I don't know if taking pictures of anything does anything, but it makes me feel cool. Okay, that's that building, I guess. Okay, I'm seeing things pop up on my compass for locations. Let's just walk up into this park real quick and see if anything happens. I feel like this would be an area where something would just click. Yeah, I wanted to go to that police station. I did, I did. I'm getting lost over here. Investigation area. Hold on, where am I? There is an investigation area right there. Okay, what, is that e what even is this? It's a skull. I kind of want to go to the police station first, though. Screw it, let's just run to the police station. We'll come back for that spot. That spot sounds like it's going to be... It could potentially be Nightmare Fuel. Okay, let's see how friendly the police officers are. Hello, officer. Well, look who finally decided to show up. It's foggy it in Charles here. Charles Reed, the genius that cracked the case of Albert Throgmorton. Captain Caleb Lyons at your service. What can we simpletons do to assist you, Mr. Holmes? Do you and I have a problem, officer? No, no. Aside from making everyone in the Oakmont Police Department look like idiots, let me be frank, newcomer. You ain't welcome. You slip up, don't cross a T or dot an I, and I'll treat you like every other criminal here. Okay. That guy actually has the same eye color as well, me, that's weird. Can I use the police archive in the meantime? You can, but only because of Mr. Throgmorton's patronage. And hate me well, you're on mighty thin Well, ice, sometimes they're yellow. And I'll be under it when it breaks. Sometimes they're green. Does not seem very happy with me here, but he also doesn't mind too much. He's just kind of a fussy. A little bit fussy. That's all. Oh, here we go. Crimes. Violent crimes. Whoops. Select three search criteria. Oh. Okay, wait. Property crimes, misdemeanors, complaints. I actually want to hear about complaints. I'll take that. Now, suspects, witnesses, victims, evidence, district. Documentation, impounds, criminal patterns, and suspects, witnesses, victims, officers. I kind of want to know a little bit about the officers. Complaints, officers, and criminal patterns. You know what? I, I, I just feel like that's what I want to go for right now over the other ones. Because we're not too deep into it. So I don't want to just go straight for the hardcore stuff. I kind of just want to ease into what we got to find. Get the first layer to start to understand things. Like where the complaints are. Where these patterns are happening. And talk to some of the officers. I feel like that's a perfect set before we just go, who's the murderers? Let's go straight to them, you know? No information. I understand now. This is just like it's checking with my information that I already have, and I don't have much in the first place. Crap. Okay. I get it. I get it. Dang it. I don't know what I would choose then. I thought I was just finding, like, it was just going to give me a little bit of bonus towards whatever I had automatically. But I guess that's not how this works. Do you have anything don't else to say to me? waste my time, newcomer. Okay, buddy. There's so many people just all walking in a straight line together. That's almost... That's kind of, like, uncanny. Especially how that one's looking at me. I don't like that. Okay. We could go here. To this. Oakmont Chronicle. Don't know what that's about. Or... The infested area! No, never mind. We're not going to that. <laughs> Simple as that. Let's go down the street, up and around to that spot. 
Yeah, I'm not going into an infested area when I don't have much ammo. Umberside West. Okay, it doesn't look like I can go this way. You look like you can. No, you can't. You wanted to. Was that on purpose that the door is halfway in the ground right here? I, I do not understand the development choice behind that at all. Chronicle. Oh, all the newspapers. So many newspapers. Why is she standing there the like that? Oh. Are by the door. Take them and stop bothering me already. I think you've got me confused with someone else. Aren't you a newcomer? What does that got to Help do me with? out here. What? What's the connection between newcomers and old newspapers? It's cold sleeping in the street, and, and they come to collect the old newspapers for warm. Yeah, I guess I am a newcomer. Charles Reed, private investigator. And I also need your old newspapers, uh, the archive, to be exact. Ah, so, so you're the one who cracked the Albert Throgmorton murder case. Nice work. I'm Helen Bland. Say, can you do me a favor? Give me an exclusive interview. You won't regret it. The Oakmont Chronicle is the best newspaper for miles around. All right, I'll uh, All right, sure to make some time for you, Miss Bland. Might as well do your interview right now. Do you still want that interview? I, uh, I got some time now, if you're ready. Oh, absolutely. We know that you're the private eye who solved the case, but tell our reader something more about yourself. Uh, what do I want to know about this character? Investigator from Boss, I already know that. I want to know more about the Navy right now. Although, it's probably going to let me choose all of the options. I'm a former Navy diver. Served on the USS Cyclops, and well, after the war, I found myself in Boston. I've been a private eye ever since. Oh, a brave sailor. Well, I imagine you'll get accustomed to local life easily. We have plenty of water around here. Uh, maybe we'll have the chance to work together later. <laughs> Who knows? And now the big question. Why are you here? What brought you to Oakmont? I'm looking for the source of my visions. I'm tracking down missing people. Let's do the first one. Currently... I'm tracking down the source of the psychic phenomenon that's been causing madness and visions all across the country. Ah, yes. Uh, it affected people here, but we were much more concerned with the Flood. Though Robert Throgmorton sent an expedition. Yeah, and then hired me to find it. Ironic, don't you think? I think that's enough for now. I can't give the readers too much all at once. Thank you for your interview, Mr. Reed. My pleasure. Um, maybe I'll do something interesting enough I to wanted to know more. Again. You never know. <laughs> See you later. Extra, extra. Give an interview to Laura. So, the one lady at the very beginning that needed a bullet for stuff, she kind of reminded me of Mama Murphy, and then this one's like Piper, you know what I mean? It's turning into Fallout 4 all over again. <laughs> Alright, what is this? Oh, period. After the Flood. People, officials, front page, search. I There's nothing here for me to search currently, because I, I don't have enough information on my own. I just kind of know a rough around the edges of some things. And they might not even have the information I need in the first place, so I don't even feel like checking those. What, what are you doing? Let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. As a nice necklace. Now that's a picture to take. So all these connected dots. Hold on. KKK. KK. 
monkeys. Interesting. And these locations on the map. So there's this dot that connects that. The KKK are connected to that mansion type place right there. Okay. I feel like that can help. I wonder if it'll let me look at my pictures because that is interesting. Oh! Oh! Oh, 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 oh. We can mark those on our map. And then the last one is right here. Okay, let's look at the map. Okay, we got some of the spots marked. We have what we need. I feel like that'll help the investigation, hopefully. It looks like there's another set of stairs in here, though, so... There is still more to be uncovered. So I'm trying to connect it with the evidence I have. Okay, that's a little more in-depth than I thought it was going to be. Uh, but I could... Okay, hold on. I do want to try this one more time. Oh, let's, let's find one. Static in the ears, voices from behind. Okay. So, district. Nope, I don't want to do it. <laughs> We're gonna skip out on that. Alright, we made it pretty far in a way through some of our investigations. Let's just wrap it up with a simple little look around up to that gate see if there's anything up this way is there any like doors or things that would like to open up on this side or was I already here before is that the door up or the wall up there that I wasn't able to go through probably Let's just... we've been over here okay so I feel like this is a good point to stop and take a break before continuing forward. However, let's just see. So we've kind of... What we did is we investigated kind of like this area right here on the road. We did go up through this road and kind of around through here. I'm just trying to think. Is there anything we missed? And then basically right around this area, we need to check out. I think we kind of have this area and stuff investigated. So it's really this road right here. So Old Charles Road and Bassett Street. Those are the streets we need to check when we come back. And then we'll check through here. Nothing around. And potentially we could come up through here and investigate Old Grove some more. I think that would be a good plan. This game is definitely something else. It's gonna it's probably gonna take a while to figure out everything and to explore. It's just it's this is gonna be a difficult game. I can I can tell that. But um anyways, I hope you guys are all enjoying, because I really enjoy this game. Anyways, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you guys in the next one. Adios amigos.